Even though mainstream news pundits don't want to admit this, everyone can see Bernie Sanders is the front runner. The pundits in mainstream media know it, and certainly the 2020 Democratic Party presidential contenders know it, hence why they have been attacking Bernie Sanders relentlessly as of late. Even though it may make us angry that they're attacking somebody who's fighting for justice, it's a good sign because it shows that we're winning and they have to attack him because they have no choice if they want to win. So we've seen Joe Biden attack Bernie and say that he has never gotten anything done or he doesn't get things done. We see Pete Buttigieg ramping up the attacks on Medicare for All. We even see innocent little Elizabeth Warren going after her friend Bernie Sanders after previously saying, I'm with Bernie. Well, look, things get ugly during the primary process, and the attacks are always going to be directed at the front runner. And this upcoming debate is probably going to be pretty brutal for Bernie Sanders because he's gaining a lot of momentum as he continues to rack up these wins. Now, somebody who also decided to go after Bernie Sanders is Mike Bloomberg, who is arguably one of the front runners. He hasn't won a single state yet, but he's spending hundreds of millions of dollars and. After Super Tuesday, he can stay in the race all the way until the convention and never has to worry about running out of money. So I don't know if Mike Bloomberg is going to be a real contender, but he's a threat that we absolutely should take seriously. And like all the other Democrats, he is now directing his fire towards Bernie Sanders. But he is not just directly attacking Bernie Sanders. What he's trying to do is craft this victim narrative and suggest that, no, he's not attacking Bernie. He's just responding to the attacks of Bernie Sanders, because understand this, you don't ever really want to be perceived as an aggressive candidate, because when you attack someone, it can bring down their numbers, but simultaneously, your numbers tend to go down as well, historically at least. Um, so he doesn't want to directly attack, because he is kind of creeping into that third place status, and he doesn't want to lose that. So he's trying to position himself to attack Bernie, but not make his numbers go down as well. He doesn't want to be perceived as aggressive. So we all know he put out the, you know, attack ad against Bernie Sanders supporters. And on top of that, he released this email titled, Bernie's new bro, Donald Trump. Now, before we read this, let's just pause and reflect on that headline. Bernie's new bro, Donald Trump. Mike Bloomberg is literally friends with Donald Trump. They've been friends for years. He was on The Apprentice with Donald Trump. They've been friends for years. They're old golfing buddies. So that is a really, uh, I guess we'll say, interesting line of attack. And Bernie is going to utterly dismantle this. But let's just hear him out and read this email. In response to repeated attacks by Bernie Sanders, his spokespeople and supporters, today Mike Bloomberg 2020 responded against baseless charges espoused online in print and on TV. Quote, it's a shameful turn of events to see Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump deploy the very same attacks and tactics against Mike. But the reason is clear. At this point, the primary is Bernie's to lose and ours to win. Bernie knows this. Trump knows this. That's why they are united in the campaign against Mike, said Bloomberg 2020 campaign manager Kevin Sheiky. Now we'll get to some of these quote unquote attacks by Bernie Sanders people and supporters. But like... He's trying to say that Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump are attacking Mike Bloomberg in the same way. What is Donald Trump doing to attack Mike Bloomberg? He's calling him Mini Mike and making fun of his height. What is Bernie Sanders' team doing to attack Mike Bloomberg? They are correctly stating that he is an oligarch who's trying to buy this election, and he's also racist. So, I mean, different tactics here. Nonetheless, he's saying that they're the same, and these are the attacks that he takes issue with. Quote, in the past week, Bernie Sanders' national press secretary, Brianna Greyjoy, senior advisor David Sirota, and national campaign co-chair Nina Turner have referred to Mike as a racist and an oligarch. Both true. Implied Donald Trump is better than a fellow Democratic candidate for president and called Bloomberg supporters enablers. All true. So if you call him a racist, if you call him an oligarch, both accurate claims, objectively true, that's an attack. You can't point out facts against me, otherwise I will take offense to it. Now, if I'm Mike Bloomberg's team, like, it's indisputable. He is an oligarch, he's also racist, but if I'm Mike Bloomberg, rather than whining about it and crying about these attacks, I'm going to own it. I'm going to say, look, yeah, I'm an oligarch, but guess what? Donald Trump is also an oligarch, and I have basically unlimited money. So if you truly want to beat Donald Trump, you need an oligarch to take on Donald Trump. I will spend billions of my own money to defeat him. So, hell yeah, I'm an oligarch. That's what it's going to take to defeat him. 
Now, that may not resonate with a lot of people, but for Democrats who are absolutely worried about electability, that could get them to come on board. But instead, he's choosing to uh, play this role as, I'm the victim and they called me an oligarch. <laughs> I mean, it's pathetic. So these are the specific quotes that he takes issue with. This one is from Brianna Greyjoy. If you wouldn't even condone a tweet criticizing a racist authoritarian like Bloomberg, you are a fence-sitting enabler of the worst variety and have no business holding yourself out as a Democrat, much less a progressive. This is in response to audio revealing that he is explicitly racist. And this from Nina Turner. Oligarch of the Month, Michael Bloomberg, and also from Brianna Joy Gray. We have no reason to believe Bloomberg's newfound political commitments. He has demonstrated a willingness to change his stripes with the political winds, and because he's self-funded, literally accountable to no one, the danger he presents cannot be overstated. Another one from Brianna. Trump will say he has a better record on criminal justice than Bloomberg, and he may be right. Absolutely correct. Uh, this from David Sirota. I'm told Mike Bloomberg isn't an oligarch. He's just a billionaire who buys elections and is a part-time resident of a foreign tax haven. Also correct. And finally from Nina Turner. I may not have a PhD yet, but I do have the good sense of knowing what makes for oligarchy. Anyone caping for a billionaire with a media company able to buy endless ads and influence party rules halfway through it is precisely a perpetuator of the corrupt system, i.e. an oligarch. Now in response to all of these quote-unquote attacks, the email reads, These attacks are unacceptable. All Democrats should focus on the critical task of choosing a candidate that can compete against Donald Trump and win. In the face of the most consequential election of our lifetimes, it is unfortunate that we are even talking about such slanderous attacks from other Democrats. And we do have some live footage of Mike Bloomberg reacting to all of these vicious attacks. I haven't cried like that since Titanic. So look, these are factual statements. Mike Bloomberg is a racist. Mike Bloomberg is an oligarch. Pointing these out doesn't inherently make them vicious attacks. It just means that they are giving you the blunt truth about Michael Bloomberg. And if you truly want to be Donald Trump then running a racist oligarch isn't the best strategy because what you need to do to beat Trump is turn out the base. Make sure that people are excited and galvanized and ready to come out and support someone they believe in. Do you honestly believe that the Democratic Party base is going to be excited about Michael Bloomberg, a former Republican who supported George W. Bush and the Iraq War, who's made recently transphobic and racist comments, who defended stop and frisk? I mean... You've got to be out of your mind to think that this is the individual who can beat Donald Trump. Yes, I get he has money and you need money to beat Donald Trump. But guess what? Hillary outspent him by, what, a two to one margin and still lost. So maybe money isn't everything. Maybe you need a base who believes in the candidate that they're coming out to vote for. Otherwise, they might not vote at all. But I mean, this is strategy. Mike Bloomberg, again, he needs to find some way to defend himself or at least deflect and he wants to attack Bernie Sanders, who is the front runner, but he can't do that directly, otherwise he's going to hurt his own numbers. So he has to cry victim. He has to make it seem as if he isn't attacking, he's not going on the offensive, he's just defending himself and counterpunching. Except, he's really showing how clueless he and his well-paid staff is. Because look at that headline again. It says, Bernie's new bro, Donald Trump. Yeah, about that. So Bernie Sanders responded to that email, and he absolutely obliterated Mike Bloomberg, and he did this by not saying anything, by just putting this picture next to that email, <laughs> and that's all he needs to do. You are going to seriously claim that Bernie and Donald Trump are friends when you have literally been friends with Donald Trump for years, and I mean, to call these attacks by Bernie's team Trumpian, no, you're the Trumpian one, because like Donald Trump, you're self-funding your campaign, you're accountable to not a single person, you have no grassroots donors, nobody, and you're friends with Donald Trump. You're a billionaire oligarch, like Donald Trump. So it's just, it's a laughable attack, and I don't know who he thinks he can convince here. Maybe, you know, he doesn't think he can convince anyone. Maybe by going after the front runner, strategically speaking, you know, he's making it seem like he's the best positioned to take on Donald Trump 
because, you know, if Bernie Sanders cares about Mike Bloomberg and Bernie's team is attacking Mike Bloomberg, well, then maybe it's the case that everyone should be worried about him. Maybe even Donald Trump should be worried about him. But we just talked about this. Donald Trump claimed, I'd rather run against Bloomberg than Bernie Sanders because there's no support with Bloomberg there. He's just buying his way into third place. The only people who are supporting Mike Bloomberg are ignorant about the fact that propping him up and supporting him, they are basically cheering on the collapse of democracy. As we devolve into oligarchy, they're okay with it because they think that he can beat Donald Trump. Well, I mean, what are some of the biggest criticisms of Donald Trump? He is racist. He's authoritarian. He's sexist. I mean, everything that you can say about Donald Trump is also true about Mike Bloomberg. So all of the Democrats' criticisms of Trump is true of Bloomberg. So you can't possibly think that running him against Trump is a good idea. And the fact that so many Democrats are coming out to endorse Mike Bloomberg, it's just, it's embarrassing. Any Democrat who supports Mike Bloomberg should be primaried. They should be out of politics forever because they're showing that they have the capacity to be bought. And they don't care about policy. They don't care about democracy. They don't mind that our country is devolving into an oligarchy. If you want to even claim that it's democratic at all, they don't care. They're just about maintaining their own careers. And Mike's got the money. That's why they're supporting Mike. So look, this is embarrassing. I'm really glad that Bernie Sanders responded to this. Don't let this oligarch take advantage of you. Don't be dissuaded from criticizing him and calling out his racism and Islamophobia because he did surveil the Muslim community in New York. Don't be afraid to call out his sexual harassment lawsuits. This individual is a bad human being and he is narcissistic enough to think that he should be the president and lead the Democratic Party when this is supposed to be the woke party. I mean, what happened to all of that? It's just a joke. So Mike Bloomberg has absolutely got to be stopped. But, you know, it, he's communicating to us that it's going to be a little bit easier to stop him than, you know, we thought, even if he has all this money, because he is tone deaf. He's so out of touch with normal Americans and um, if this is all that you've got, saying that Bernie and Trump are best friends when you're literally besties with him, not going to be so tough. We just have to make sure that we get the word out in spite of all the money that he's spending to uh, prop himself up. Beta male.